I I mean I have the key, but I'm not here to play games. <gasps> I failed. I'm here to play games. It looked like it passed. You smash into the wood and see a small crack. It did pass. No, it, it hurt. Yeah, we won because of the because of the our special bonus power. But yep. Oh yeah. Our vendetta I'm against thinking of inanimate game. objects. Are you? Especially to fuck the system. <laughs> freeze dirt bags. I'm just saying freeze dirt bags. I hope I there's someone this. in the room. I hope it doesn't kill us. I, no. We passed a skill check. I guess you can pass skill checks and still take damage if you do something foolish, but luckily we had the thought of being able to break objects and it heals you now, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, know, okay. What is this? this gym. Place? It's an adventure, it's another world beyond the veil. It's like a gym to me, no idea, Kim. I think it's maybe the Artema Tips Boxing Club for Young Athletes. Look at like a gym to me. Yes, but no one's been here in ages. I doubt the electricity no still works. No kidding. Works. Good thing we have a flashlight on us. Oh. Don't forget to take it out of your bag before we move on. Good tip. Yeah, the first time the flashlight will come in handy. Chest. There's a reason why no one's been here for ages. Let's just keep going. I mean, it doesn't make sense because we know Kuno has been here, right? Because he knew where the fridge was. Yes, because yeah, he snuck his way in at some no point. No need to look for a supernatural explanation. Although I guess it's possible he hasn't been specifically in here. No, let's yeah. move on, shall we? I guess. Let's see, I'm gonna equip my flashlight because Kim told me to. Boom. What we got here? Some sort of punching bag. How scary. Some sort of shot put ball. Sidious Fortis. Oh, wall bars is that unsafe? Can I, can I gain a plus a one strength? Lies on the floor. The color That'd be has sweet. worn off its weight. Do it deadlift. It's yeah. sixty kilograms. Your triceps hum at the sight of these weights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Show the world what kind of beast it's dealing with. Lift them. There are no collars on the barbell. This is a safety hazard. Oh, that is scary. But look, I mean, <laughs> look, Kim, it's a trap. There are no collars on this You're barbell. Right. The weights may fall off. Better not touch it then. Uh, bastards, remove the collars. Must be a felony. It would be a violation of EPIS safety regulations if the gym was still operating, but it isn't. Oh, no one's supposed to come here. That was not a success collar. No, I succeeded. Wow, that was like the most pathetic failure of all time. I didn't even like move it at all. Hoist it off the ground. Wow, a three the bad roll. and dangerous. Your hands slick with sweat. That Turns was a very bad beast. roll. Just an Just old, man old man with, with bad, bad form. Even your body has failed you. It's a miracle you didn't injure yourself. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to smash through that. Back yeah, it is funny that if we just used the use the key, would have had a better chance to win that roll. But you know what? That someone had to bash the door down. Why not me? Yeah. Maybe his gloves just proper suck. weightlifting gloves would definitely afford a better grip. All right. Well, thanks, Kevin. I almost lifted it, and that's what counts. I got it almost an inch off the. A centimeter off the ground, so... Oh wow, it is dark in here, huh? Old window panes okay. and debris. Oops. It's a little spooky. Yeah. Large demijohn full of strange liquid. What the fuck is a demijohn? Yeah. Large Same. Dark stuffed and mounted. Airship brewery is covered in spiderwebs. They remind you of blades. Oh, that's a different room. Huh? Went to the 24 hour window of hair shop. Naked mannequin torso. Strange yellow color. Money! Blue velvet, soft to the touch. Moth bitten. Money! Blade? Sort of like bearing a slipstream logo. What the fuck? Production schedule filament memory. Weird. Ten bucks. Holy shit. Hell yeah. It's good money though. Yeah. That'll pay for tomorrow. That'll, we're gonna Almost get be able to see here for for days. Yeah, yeah we're set. That Emma's Italia. I don't. I don't know what that means. So I say yes. Uh, let me look this way first. Your flashlight slides over an old green chalkboard covered in scribbles, sketches, and schemes. 
Like See that some elf? Yeah, I was say. Some of the writing has faded with age, but you can still make out sections here and there. Photos and drawings have been pinned to the board. The These noise. lithe, pointy-eared creatures appear to be different types. Oh, they're Welkins, of, of course. You make out autumnal candle uh. Welkins casting wax-based magic. Translucent Welkins with organs shining under their skin. And even oh, ether Welkins, all kinds of Welkins hailing from the vast emptiness of sidereal space. You should adopt one of those Welkins as your persona. Okay. No longer a mere man. Sure. But a Welkin. I'm in yeah, the way into that. Towering among the rest appears to be different, however. It's it. Vara Hamira, yeah. a high Welkin, his face white and scarred like cracked marble. This is clearly a Welkin supremacist. Well, uh... The note says, Oh, okay. All okay. Well, Welkin good thing I'm adopting one then, huh? The, the, Haldor, the Welkin got the milkshake duck. The humans and even headless men, all of them purged. Imagine a world filled only with Welkin. Green Welkin, Dread Welkin, and the High Welkin to rule them all. An inordinate amount of time has gone into drawing these little Welkin creatures. <laughs> one of them is a one of them's a Welkin supremacist. Mm -hmm. I like whispering. That one has a great beard too. Some people nice. really like building a world, I think. Even if it's <laughs> just for a game. Meta commentary oh. This looks like concept art for a project. It's not really real. Meta commentary. Just look at those details. What if the Some next game that comes out of the studio is all about Welkins? Welkin supremacy The photo game. collage depicts barren, icy landscapes wrapped in perpetual. Entire oceans have been frozen from shore to shore. There are pictures of settlements on dried up riverbeds, abandoned in a storm. Animal corpses in the dark, carcasses and bones. You see primitive oil rigs built into glaciers. Boreal dwarves. Glaciers? Yet Excuse me? Snow. Great mammoth yeah, like beasts one. of burden. Albeit dark and cold, this vision also feels cozy in its own way. Like eggnog. Or I wonder if um a much needed respite from our own world. I wonder if glaciers is like a regional pronunciation, because the one I always think about is in Dragon Age Inquisition. There's a line where Mor Morrigan, Morgana, I don't remember the character's name even. She says a skeletal hand, and I thought it was really funny that found out that's just how it's pronounced in like some parts of the a world. Pinned postcard reads, oh, weird! Is it a skeletal? The yeah. Scenario: A desperate skeletal. fight for geothermal energy engulfs the world as Wirral becomes untethered from its sun, drifting through the universe. That's cool. Uh, uh, that hey, okay. that premise sounds cool as hell, though. Let me play this. Uh, yeah, the Welkin game. This is a monthly calendar from the year. That's what 50. I'm saying. Cryptic words like sprint, oh, no. daily minimi, and GPI span the marker drawn grid, <laughs> the grand scheme of production and money. Burn this board, Kim. Look minimi away. Stands for a mini meeting. It's part of a bigger framework for managing work called RUN. Station 41 tried to implement it a few years ago, but failed. As time goes on, the numbers in the boxes grow rarer. Gonna get and rarer. Six Sigma the certified in the video game real quick. <laughs> in the final days. I'm gonna get so Only many thoughts coming out of this board, man. Dwell in this region. We are like agile. A note in the bottom left corner of the chalkboard says, see the prod schedule filament for details. The handwriting is only partly legible. Oh, well, that's the thing we picked up. Still make out three we picked slogans. up the schedule. Call in, tune out. Oh, We're you're right, yes. And heat death of the universe. Outside, a cold wind wraps the building in its bosom. Snowflakes in the wind. An old woman passes what the locals call the doomed commercial area. She tries hard not to look at the bookstore windows. It's unwise. It makes a ton of sense. The bookstore is cursed. Everybody seems to know it. Yeah. This appears to be some kind of machine with a cube-shaped heart and a wired Ooh. framework. I'm wondering about the, the thing in here. Okay. A rectangular on -off that's button. what I'm thinking. Piece of paper oh, there's no power, huh? The printer. A radio computer. Oh. Just sitting here without anyone inside. But we are looking for a fridge, and we are pressed for time, so... On the other hand, it's not the time 
not interested in abandoned radio computers. I kind, I kind of want to. Like, I know, like, we kind of got yeah. here so quick that I feel like I got time to play with this machine. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we purposely sped run Maybe into here. has stopped decomposing somehow. I don't know. You're in charge of this expedition, officer. Is the lieutenant a little scared? Just now, when he looked around, the machine lights up like some prehistoric animal stirring from its slumber, revealing fluorescent play and print keys on the keyboard. The oh. hatch on the machine's central compartment. It's weird that it lit up with no power. Open. Yeah. It's empty, like a beehive without its brood. Some cables have been left okay. dangling. But we have the thingy. Yeah. The filament you have would fit perfectly. Yes, yes. The side there it is. Like That's what we wanted. Drawer, the filament slides into place. On the keyboard, the play key starts blinking. Is this gonna be a like of fabric a mini right game or something? What is this? Starts producing if, there, if, if, it, if it boots up a fucking Welkin game, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> magnetic driver. This was actually Frog Fractions 3. Here we go. Oh no. It was already glowing and now it's also making a sound. It's probably some alien seal like technology. <laughs> Half Light is so louder, stupid. Slowly filling That's up what the we love horn until a voice speaks out, crackling and old, cutting into the air. Good morning, Fortress Accident en rue de Saint-Gazelaine. This is East Insulindian Rapid what? Station 1. Please repeat. Is this the production schedule? But, uh. Yes, I am alive. I am 74 years old, and my name is. I have is no okay. idea what is happening now, right now, man. Uh, we're, talk, we're talking to Yvonne. She repeats passwords. Programming people are all paranoid. Apparently, you're here because reading computer guys are all paranoid. Uh, okay. They are merely cautious. It's my job to protect their filaments as a password repeater at the East Insulindian Station. I work as a repeater at the East Insulindian Repeater Station. It's my job to know where you are for this accident. As for me, well, I am sitting in my cubicle, surrounded by a wall of radios. That sounds pretty fun. On an island on the River Esperance, a small woman, all skin and bones, sits in a room filled with audio equipment. Thousands of tiny lights are reflected back from her prescription lenses, like stars in the dark. Now please tell me the reason for your call, Fortress Accident. What's the the filament you have inserted into the reader. All that right. was a question. Have you inserted it into the core? Yep. Good. Yeah, of course please we have. repeat the password. Oh, oh, password. Shit. Of course it would have a password. That's why there's a human administrator involved. Uh, I'm really bad at passwords. No. A hint system oh. is not part of the protocol <laughs> for computer stations. I am contractually obliged to protect the privacy of the filament holder for stress accident. Without filing a warrant with Lintel, I cannot give you access to this filament. I'm afraid we are not doing that, unless we want to wait for a month. Now, can you please Fair. repeat the password? Still, no. Received. I will register this login attempt. That sounds bad. A login attempt. Something a criminal would do. Don't worry. Passwords have a way of turning up. Yeah, we'll find, we'll yeah. find the password. I'm confident. Fortress Accident. Is there a Fortress Accident? Is the company on whose name the terminal uh, you are currently okay. using that makes sense. has been mm, registered okay. to? One moment. Fortress Accident SCA produces revolutionary interactions. Call in radio, radio games. games. That is okay. what the catalog says. Ooh. That's not bad. Uh, that's hmm. successful. Any other questions? <laughs> uh, he just even Thank attempt you. to answer the question. Yeah, Goodbye. sick. Tiles on the cube are Goodbye, still smoldering. Okay. Nothing okay. happens. Okay. I want to take this thing out, I guess, for the now. Yeah, Nothing yeah, keep happened. it with us for now, for sure. Let's just see. Real quick. Is there a password in here anywhere? Where's the most advanced RPG in the universe? Oh, wow. 
This old fireplace oh is covered in lines drawn in blue and red. So this is just giving the password. The mesh spreading over the stone like mm -hmm. blood vessels on alabaster. This is where all those points in ghostly the and intellect is ancient. better come in handy. The whole thing Suss this one out, Harry. Mosaic tiles. Very pedantic. History classes. Students with their textbooks open, studying the roots of our civilization. Radio frequencies, it seems. UKV 123.6. UKV 123.7. No, I mean, it's a radio call UKV or whatever, unclear. So. It mm -hmm. looks like a cardiovascular system split into veins and capillaries. Very advanced. <laughs> it's the anatomy <laughs> of the curse. <laughs> the web is comprised of radio stations, all lead back to one red heart, titled the Game Master Frequency. A note says, this one can listen in on any station it wants. Looks like a surveillance program. Hmm. Someone very important. A conductor for the hundreds of story threads that pass through the Game Master's frequency. Whoever decides to call in to a call-in station, it looks like. There's no way a little basement studio working here could pull anything like this off. My Weird. god. It's as if the less money they had, the more ambitious their project became. <laughs> the schedule. I Hell yeah, dude. It when I see it. The company was running out of funding. Nothing. It's just lines on marble, an echo okay. from times long gone. No one has used the fireplace. The old in frequency ages. fireplace. Uh, let's see, you got this door. Uh, so there's another hallway over here. I just want to find the fridge. Okay. Honestly. Oh. What do you think is going on with that computer, chalkboard, and fireplace? Um. Yeah, it seems like it's just a failed business to me. They're making a game and they ran out of money, right? Yes. Yeah. That is the question. It looks like one of those popular pen and paper role-playing games. Only these people were trying to automate it, make it work on radio computers. Mm. Has anyone ever done that before? That's so crazy, Not Kim. To my knowledge, they make automated games in Gard, Messina, Konigstein. You know, places with industry. Not in Revachol mm -hmm, West, mm -hmm. among the ruins. Yeah, that's But a good I don't point. think anyone has attempted to create an interisolary game before. We just don't have the technology. Through call-in stations, none of the players have to be physically present. Anyone in the world can participate in the game, as long as they have a two-way radio. Then there's the game master frequency. I don't think this, this is going to catch on, Cam. smaller call-in stations. I think that was supposed to coordinate the stories, functioning as a it master seems, of ceremonies of sorts. Uh, just too big to manage. Yeah, you know? people probably wouldn't do it. They, they, let's go play the kickball. His fascination. We got ball cup. Massive. Concerns. Massively multiplayer radio oh. RPG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, those Welkins are a dead giveaway. Roleplaying people love that stuff. The world looks like a modified version of the Wii World board game with heat death thrown in. Super cool. Someone should give them millions of real immediately. This game is too <laughs> good to be left unfinished. No idea. They stopped filling out the schedule on the chalkboard. I mean, we're in dead business alley or whatever Indeed. the fuck. <laughs> it's ambitious and mm -hmm. untethered from reality, but... I just thought they could do this just to play sheet money. The curse got them. So we keep a company. Let's finish. Do you have any money? Let's give them more money so they can finish it even bigger. Yeah! It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Oh, I wanted to make the game even better. Okay. Well, we Let's can steal moving. the idea. That's right, fools, they didn't erase their chalkboard. Okay, so I think the door in the room is probably where we actually want to go. Yeah. Because I, th well, cause I think this is... is I'm thinking that this though? is the way forward. Oh yeah, this is insane, of course. An iron safety curtain curves before your eyes, folded like a This, uh, this must be where they killed the guy. I'm like, oh, I'm completely convinced now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Chimney. Oh, this is where the lady lives. The, the chimney. This must be where the entity lives. What an odd thing Hello? to do. Nothing Hello? Hello, entity? Are you there? Still nothing. No one's home. Those curtains prove to be surprisingly sturdy. I got Your an achievement for being an enemy now. of the physical realm. If this is really well, I mean, that's fair. The chimney, then there must be a furnace somewhere as well. Maybe there's another way to get in. Can you please try to refrain from attacking random things? Kim, I can try. Kim, my dude, we have a whole thought dedicated to this. Yeah. Thanks. 
In any case, there's no way we can get in right now. Yeah, okay. What was that little camera thingy up there? Yeah. Oh, it's my camera. It's, it's a postcard of the Delta 51. No, this is... How do you see this room and go, oh yeah, someone must live here. This place looks great. The entity. The entity. Okay, well, I'm a liar. We gotta go through this door. Oh, I'm kind of surprised there's a load screen there. Also. I figured it'd just be like a... Me another too. room or something. I wonder if it's gonna be outside. That would be weird. I don't know. Oh, no, just an angle swap, I guess. And a cool ass bear. Some magnesium. That's the bear. Oh, yeah. The fri the fridge was a bear. We're in the basement. Oh right, yeah. That's the fridge. I'm just looking around real quick before I investigate that because I assume it's gonna be some dollar amongst some money course, action maker, course. defrosting on plugs. What the hell is this? Oh, a, a thick layer of cold dust covers the floor. To get into the chimney. Coloring it pitch black. Yeah. Looks like it. Looks like an old central furnace used to heat the building. It's connected to the chimney. No one has used it in ages. No signs of any recent fire. Only dead rats. It's dark and grimy here. In the darkness you can hear huh. chatter. It's coming from above. A voice or several voices talking to each other. Near the smoke chamber. Upstairs. What are you doing? The murder of the hangman talking. I'm just, I hear some talking Wait, upstairs. really? Maybe it's coming from behind those safety curtains we saw upstairs. Odd slipstream SEA. I have no idea what that even means. Um... You're right. The rooms do look like they're connected. But malignant entities don't exist. At least not the supernatural kind. Always has to be the skeptic, this man. Then what was the chatter you heard? A lush layer. I don't know why I'd want to, but why not? Your skin. You gave me the option to do it. I'm gonna click on it. <laughs> your hands look ancient. Maybe you could paint something with this coal. Leave a cave painting for future archaeologists. No, that would be stupid. Still, it's good to have this dirt on you. Real men wear coal for All makeup. Right. I, I, it's funny that yelling hello into the furnace is a skill check. It, it seems like it'd be hard to fail. <laughs> Something breaks loose in you. A mighty bellow echoes throughout the chimney's depths. The chatter of tiny voices above suddenly cease. Then... Hello? And it's a woman, of course. The malicious entities are always women. Hello? Did you say anything? I can't hear you. Oh. There's a safety curtain on the second floor. I'll open it. After you, officer. That was easy. A hollow ring goes through the furnace. Your toe hurts. What? That's the entity. It did two damage and it didn't heal? It didn't heal us. That's insane. This is just a big inanimate object. What the fuck? That is bullshit, man. All right, well, let's hit this friggin' chimney. Or what? You the, see the, the a terrifying ice bear with a strange compartment in its belly. The door is covered in frost, and the bear's eyes are glowing red. This is like... Why? This is the most cursed refrigerator of all time. This ice bear is a hyper-carnivore. Hyper-carnivore? The bear looks odd. I wonder if there's stuff in the fridge already. Is it taxidermy? Yeah. A gust of freezing cold air huh? rushes to greet you. You hear a low grumble as the bear regulates itself. This is We're the inside so of a refrigerator. Weird. The lieutenant takes a peek inside. His hand has found the holster <laughs> of his I like bear. that he's scared now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. A giant ice bear shaped fridge. Just what we were looking for. Let's see what's inside. The shelves it is, are in empty. fact, exactly All what we were see looking are for. crumpled right? ice cream wrappers with the brand name Revachol Ice City. A handwritten note has been attached to the door. The Let's fridge the, uh, is huge. Let's look at the note. You pocket the note and the little fridge oh. magnets keeping it on the okay. door. I figured we'd read the note, but that works too. It's certainly yeah, an not. eccentric choice, but it is capacious and cold enough too. Your visual confirms you could fit two more bodies in the ice bear fridge. Okay, that's very specific nice. that it keeps saying that. Shall we go and get the body then? <laughs> I'll take the head, you take the feet. The stairs won't be easy, but we'll manage. The yeah. two of you. Yeah. 
is the body yeah. is heavier than you expected. Good. I was like, I don't, I can't imagine it's going to make us like sit through this. Yeah. Yeah. Just down to the cut. basement. Then, ten more minutes to stuff it. Oh no! But what about the boots? The lieutenant takes a step back. We can come back down here and get the boots. Hand, maybe. I hope so. By ourselves. I hope so. Beautiful. A dead body in a nice bare fridge. This is some of the best. Oh fuck! Unless the bookstore is closed. Yeah. You've definitely earned a drink after this. Perhaps I'm even some. Pagan. Not investigating the body before going to bed. That on the first end of the first day. Now I'm like, fuck. We had just done that. Could have gotten the boots. Yep. Could have solved this whole problem. Could have had the boots. Damn. Uh, it whatever. happens. We'll, we'll try to tighten. If we can't get it, we can't get it. You know. Never promise it's yeah. gonna be a 100 percent perfect playthrough with no mistakes ever, right? <laughs> No, it's going to be a playthrough where we get every possible headline. Uh, he's over for pagan rights. No, no, yeah, no, yeah, we did good. Not really. Oh. Look at that. What have we done? We stuffed a dead body <laughs> in an ice bear fridge. The story does not leave this room. <laughs> I think it's a great achievement. <laughs> yeah, we did the best of what we had. Come on now. Did we, though? Okay, maybe we did. At least we've stopped the body from decomposing further. Now you can conduct another inspection under controlled circumstances. Inside the icy realm of the ice bear fridge, wow. the corpse stands slumped. Still 3% with a plus 2. Yeah, it's real hard. Let's try with the dead man boots again! Yeah, the boots are still there! A friendly cartoon bear smiles back at you from a glossy cellophane wrapper. It looks nothing like the fridge. Or the decomposing body in it. There's a giant beer head fridge doing the best. Good question. Place. It looks like an ice cream fridge. Somewhere in the past, it's summer. Five year old Fifette. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It's like a themed hand. fridge Change specifically for ice cream. In her pockets as she hops towards the ice cream stand right across the plaza. That's hyper I know. What an unfortunate marketing choice. I don't know. It's cool. What is even worse, the bear is still costing them money to this day. The electricity bill must be catastrophic. On the other hand, it did <laughs> help us with a certain corpse. I'm just gonna click these and see if they just have anything different on them. I thought we decided. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you shoot, Looney Rooney. Happy <laughs> like it in the fridge. I like oh, it. Hell, hell yeah, brother. This really is your finest hour. You're a genius. A nice. regular Coppolangelo. I'm a Coppolangelo. Come dude. back later, Coppo. All right. I wanna amuse yourself. I want to level up and stuff before I hit that skill track and like do a save. I think. Oh yeah, finish the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus twenty percent zoom out. Distance. All Motorix learning caps. Yeah, but that's like that, that's one. like useless because you need to, like put points in Motorix, oh. right? Like it doesn't yeah, like, give true. us that's a bonus. True. Zoom out distance though. Yeah, that is what a see more. That's the thing. See more AoEs on the ground. Dodge more things coming in. Let's see what else we got. Postcard. We can look at this note. I'm gonna the note I can't imagine anything with a blue pencil right? on a piece of. Does it say yeah, anything no interesting? This no, is tangential me. at best, but the lieutenant's <laughs> okay. instinct is still active. Someone has scribbled. S. I can't believe the offsite copy is still here. The illiterate ginger kid keeps stealing stuff from the studio, <laughs> so I had to hide it. I wonder who that safe. could be. You find the filament memory <laughs> with the offsite copy in the frozen ice cream maker. Please take it home, ASAP. It's important. I'd do it myself if I lived in a civilized place with a freezer. Damn, I was kind of hoping take it care. might. After Silly it was from the studio, I was hoping it might be like the password. Yeah, actually, well, I wonder. If it's, I wonder. I mean, it might be if it's in the frozen ice yeah. cream maker. I don't know. I assume it's somewhere close to the ice bear fridge. Looks like someone from that radio game company upstairs. I'm a little surprised they just left their property lying. Yeah, there. that's weird. That's a plausible hypothesis. It belongs inside a radio computer, storing its memory. It's, it's like a tape. You it. listen to disco tapes, right? It's like one of your disco tapes. Only for a computer. Who? Gee, who's that illiterate ginger kid? I don't have yeah. any idea. You don't have a single guess? Cool. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> the child would love to get his hands nice. on the Five film memory. Even if he doesn't know what to do with it, he'd probably try to pawn it for speed, based on our encounter. 
How old is this kid that he's doing speed? Because it seems like he's 10. I think it said he was 12 in like the first encounter. I'm just looking up here real quick to see if the... That's still too young. Not longer. that there's any age for speed, but All right, that's still too young Too much that's going on here. I'm going back to the, the, the trying to fail the skill check real quick. That... Okay. That ice cream maker had, uh... That ice cream maker had another interactable with it. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to do this first. Do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bear's eyes are still glowing red. You touch the dead man's body. His skin is cold, light blue and silver. It'll come to Nothing. you sooner or later. Okay. At least he's safe here until then. Yeah. But now we can get that check refreshed and the body will still be okay. And 